Hi boys and girls, this, I just want to do a quick video over place value to the billions. So here we go. So the first things first is looking at the place value chart. Um, right here we have our decimal, we have our ones, our tens, our hundreds, followed by our thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, hundred millions, followed by your billions, ten billions, and hundred billions. And in class we talked about how the billions were added from fourth grade. So that is how this chart is different from fourth grade, the fifth grade one. Okay. The three forms that you have are standard, expanded, and word. Standard is just the number, so just the number that you would see it with all the digits starting from the ones place going all the way to the billions in this case. Followed by expanded form, and in expanded form we actually have two types, and we'll go over that in just a second. But the definition means that you are separating the value. So this is one form of expanded form where you simply take apart the numbers and add the zeros behind depending on where they are at in your standard form. And then your word form, of course, is writing your number in words. So for example, this one would be 3,124,385,000. 10. Okay. Place value and value are two different things. Place value tells you where a number is on the place value chart. So for example, in the number 562, the six is in the tens place. That is place value. And when we're talking about value, that means how much a number is worth. So for example, in the number 562, the six has a value or a worth of 60. So two different things there. Okay, just moving on. Don't forget the yellow slides are your responsibility. How do you say big numbers? This is a big deal um, or uh, uh, something that I see a common, common mistakes that uh, students make is how to say the big numbers. So you have to go based on where they are at in your place value chart. So if these numbers are in the billions section, you would say 152 as a whole, and then you would say billion at the end because they are in the billions place. So 152 billion, 874 million, 16,000, and then 395, and that's it. You wouldn't say 395 hundreds, you would just simply say 395. And then don't forget, your decimal is going to be right next to your ones place here. Okay, just going to skip through a few of these slides. Okay, expanded form versus expanded notation. So again, expanded form sets, separates the place values of a number. So for example, uh, if I have this number, there's, this is one way to separate the values in expanded form. And I would keep going through each number. Okay, and then if you'll notice that right here, it went from 2000 to 30. Well, why wasn't there a digit right here? Because if I go back to the number at the very top, there was a zero there. So I don't want to put anything there because there is nothing there. Zero, zero had no value in that particular hundreds place. So it went from 2,000 down to 30, and then the four at the end, okay? Then we have expanded notation. Again, this separates the place values of a number using parentheses, multiplication, and addition. Now you're not necessarily solving using multiplication addition. You're just using um, those, uh, uh, those operations when you're showing your work for them. So for example, if I have the, uh, the same number that we're talking about over here, I would do six times one billion plus five times 100 million. Why one billion and why 100 million? Because the six is in the billions place and the five is in the hundred millions place. And see how I put parentheses around each of them and then I put addition signs between both of those as well. And then I would keep going. 2 times 10 million. Why 2 times 10 million? Because the 2 is in the 10 millionth place. And then 4 is in the 1 millionth place. Again, parentheses around the multiplication part and addition between each of those. Okay, if I keep going, 7 times 100,000. Again, the 7 is in the 100,000th place and the 8 is in the 10,000th place. Parentheses and addition sign. Followed by 2 times 1,000 plus 3 times 10 plus four times one. Now again, there is nothing in the hundreds place, so I would have nothing times 100. I wouldn't put zero times 100 because again, there is nothing in the hundreds place, so I don't wanna put anything for 100. So for in this case, it's get from 1,000 to tens to ones. Okay? 
Um, writing expanded notation. So going back, this is, I want to make sure that we are very clear on these two, because if there's any mistakes on this assignment, it's going to be uh, this one right here, because you're not being extra careful. Okay, so really quickly, just going back. Sorry, I have to go back like this when I do this one. Um, you have your place value chart right there. It starts from the ones and it goes all the way to the hundred billions. You have your three forms, standard, expanded, and word. There is a big difference between place value and value. And then you need to know how to say your big numbers because you are responsible for writing one yourself. Remember, 152 billion, 874 million, 16 thousand, ones, tens, hundreds, 395. Now, do not use any of the numbers that I have given you um, in this assignment or in this PowerPoint for your assignment yourself. So I don't want to see 6,524 million on your paper. Make up your own original number and uh, make it your own. Okay, so that is it for this assignment. If you get stuck, you can message me on Google Classroom.